Yo, what's up, guys? It's One Shot Gang. Um, I'm Kismut, and today we're gonna be making an R&B beat in FL Studio. All right. So first, let me just open a new project. All right. Um, so for this one, so usually how I start a beat is like I put um, a sampler track right here uh, with nothing on it, and then I just drag like a scale MIDI. So I'll just do like, let me see, let's do G sharp minor. Right, put that there and then you can start like you'll see what it looks like so I'm gonna do 105 or maybe 100 okay, let me hear it the sound yeah, yeah, yeah that's it all right um, I'm just gonna go to keyscape library and get this piano all right let me just lay off some chords. That's pretty good. And then I'm just gonna make it go down one. I think that should sound weird. It might sound weird, I don't know. Alright, so that sounded pretty cool. Um, let me uh, let me put some EQ on it. RC20 do that so that um I just did that because I already have an EQ on it so there's no point of like doubling it up all right now I'm gonna probably add a pad I'll look in hive Take the low end out. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this little thing on the piano. So if you go to the piano track, right? Um, and then you do Alt S. You can like strum it so it sounds like more realistic. Also, you want to hit pre preserve end so that it doesn't like what's happening over here. It's like it's um, it's not cutting the end of it, so you gotta hit that and then it'll like cut it. So you don't gotta do it. You don't need to do it like manually. So 
see what's happening, right? It's like fading in and out. Maybe this one. If you guys want this, like, a gross beat um, pack, then. Yeah, so if you guys want this gross beat pack, then uh, I can just leave it the link in the description below. So let's see what this one sounds like. Yeah, that's much better. sounds like all right that's what it sounds like I want you to attack all the way down for some reason this flute is like kind of trash um, not trash but like you'll see I just want the top notes sub bass here's what it sounds like it's like it glides too you can make sure it can make it you can make it glide and like that's basically like slide notes but yeah let me add these and usually what I do is just copy and paste the bottom notes Actually, that'd be overkill. Yeah. And maybe I want to add that gross beat thing. There's an easier way to do this. I'll show you how to add it later, like in the next video, in a new video. But here. Here's a, how you gotta tune them, okay? Here's how you tune your 808, right? You just click on it, right click over here, click aud edit and audio editor, and then click this little flag thing, and then you click, um, you click detect pitch regions, and then it, right here it says D sharp, right? So now we go to, just right click on D sharp, so that's D sharp, so right click on it. There, now it's tuned, and you normally, cut cell so that it doesn't overlap alright now let me add I'll just copy and paste the same uh, sub bass notes Here 
is what it sounds like. So what I usually do is copy the 808 onto the kick, but don't worry, it's not over yet. And then, oh yeah, the way I just move this track down is like, if you hold alt and then arrow down, you can move it uh, to your um, liking. So then, let me just reset these. So you select all of them. Go to the first track, Control Shift L, and then it uh, roots them so you can like look at the names. What the heck? Yeah, let me fix the kick first. So. The the drums and then mix and then arrange and I'll uh, see you guys then all right guys so just finished mixing the beat um I added a little bit more stuff like I added um this melody right here you'll hear it. it's like a plug um I consolidated the 808 because it was like interfering with the sub bass like during the transition um and yeah I'll just gonna I'm just gonna let the beat play out um don't forget to follow our one shot gang Instagram it's at um I'll put in the link in the description and then follow me at Kismet Vibes um, on Instagram and at Kismet Beats on um, Twitter. But yeah, that's it for me. I'm gonna let the beat play. Yeah. 